What's going on, ministry? This is Barry coming at you this glorious day. We're doing this sermon earlier, early, excuse me, and I'm going to put it on there because it seems to me in the past couple of days, people have been hit with several things that have been bringing them down. And this message was given to me, and I gave it to the veterans at the homeless center. And I want to go ahead and read it to everybody out there. It's in Second uh, Timothy, and it's chapter 2, and it goes to verse 3 and 4. And it says, Though therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Now stop. Were you called to serve God? Were you called to follow Christ? Do you know that He is your Savior, your King? Look back on what He endured for you. Why do you let little, minute, mundane things such as your tire getting flat on the way to work or having a problem or issue at work or family arguments, why are you letting little mundane things get to you? Look how much He went through for our pettiness, our, our, I'm sorry, our worthless sins. Look what He went through. Let's continue to read. No man that warrant entanglement, entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. See what just I just said. Don't let them little things take you down. Concern yourself to the bigger picture. Like I always tell you, keep your eye on that prize. That he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. If you even called yourself a warrior or a soldier of Christ, then you need to put all these little earthly problems to the back burner. I know it says you're going bare, that's harder than what it seems. It's not. Give it a little thought, pray on it, and do as the book tells us to do, and put it in God's hands. Let Him take control of your worries. Keep a smile on your face. Keep the joy beating hard in your chest. Keep the love spreading. Do exactly as this book tells you to do. By Batum. Follow the rules that this book tells you to do, people. It's real simple, but occasionally you will feel doubt. You will feel doubt. You will feel that you're going to fall. Every once in a while, I feel that. But I have to remember, i got to put myself in that prayer mindset. Giving it to God. Giving it to Christ. People, if no one's told you this today, Jesus Christ loves you. He loves you. He loved you enough to die upon that cross and to prove his love for you. He raised up. He whooped the devil. And believe it or not, he'll be coming back someday. Hey, this has been Barry coming at you with Rogue Ministries. And just note, all those that live within the Boyd County, Greenup County, Carter County, Lewis County, even up in Huntington, West Virginia, I'll be preaching this Sunday at Kingsway Ministry. But I'm going to give you a little bit of heads up. Bring your steel toe boots because this one's going to be rough. Jesus loves you. I love you. Keep your eyes on the prize, and we'll see you next week. And God bless.